Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Orcs Talk. Today I just wanted to talk to you guys about Friday the 13th the game and talk about this new paranoia game mode that they've teased over the last little while and present a few theories and ideas that are going around as to what this could potentially all be about. So for those of you who don't know, Gun Media, over the last little while or so, released a teaser trailer up on their YouTube page about this game mode that basically was the initial reveal and gives us a couple of clues and little hints and tips as to where this game mode might be going and what it may be inspired by. So the first thing this teaser trailer pretty much confirms is that this has everything to do with the blue dot mystery. For those of you who don't know and if you haven't been following the game on Twitter or on forums or anything like that, the blue dot mystery is basically this series of cryptic images that were released over time and there's a bunch of dots, about eight dots, seven of them black, one of them blue, and each time a new image would come out where the blue dot would shift its position. The theory going around the forums and the internet about what this mystery could all be about, they've kind of deduced it down to about two characters from the film franchise. It's either to do with Pamela Voorhees, who's the mother of Jason and the killer from the very first Friday the 13th movie, or it's to do with Roy Burns, who was the killer from the fifth Friday the 13th film, and is kind of presented in the film as a copycat killer to Jason, and, well, for a long time is presented as Jason, until it's revealed at the end that it's someone other than him. So this teaser trailer pretty much confirms one thing, and that is that this game mode is pretty much all to do with Roy Burns, or at least the fifth Friday the 13th film. And you may wonder, well, why is that? Well, because one of the things is there's a hockey mask presented in this trailer and it flashes blue and white. One of the only times that we've seen a blue mask in the film franchise is worn by Roy Burns. One of his key differences between him and the real Jason is that the real Jason always wears a white hockey mask with red uh, lines on it and all that, while Roy always wore the white hockey mask with the blue lines on it. And that was a kind of key giveaway, as it is in this trailer. The other thing is at the end of the trailer they use a hashtag whois5, again there's a blue V in there, V being 5 obviously, and the big giveaway is that it is Who is 5 the fifth film in the Friday franchise, so that seems to point us in the direction that this is all to do with the fifth film. It pretty much rules out anything to do with Pamela from the first film and anything other than what is going on here, which is something to do with Roy Burns and Part 5. So now we're getting into the real interesting part of this, which is what is this game mode all going to be about, and how is it going to play, and how will it differ from the current classic version of the game, if you could call that, I guess. I've got two kind of theories, one which is more straightforward, and which is something that others pretty widely agree on all the sites and stuff, that this is what it could be, and what it maybe will be. And then I've got another one which is the same kind of idea but a little bit of a different take on it that may or may not be possible, I don't know, we'll find out. So the first theory that's kind of gone around and that I agree with as well is that this game mode will have something to do with the fact that one of the counsellors is the killer. It's a mystery as to who is the killer. Now this idea going around is that there will be no Jason and there will be only seven or eight counsellors but one of them will give it, be given the ability to kill the other counsellors. An interesting theory going around is that maybe they'll start with a mask inside their inventory and they'll have to put that mask on to activate kill mode and do all those kind of things and the strategy will really come into play of how can they try and keep their identity secret and how can they perhaps separate all the counsellors to kind of take them out one by one, which if you think about it is a really interesting idea. The second theory is one that I've kind of come up with which is basically the same idea but it ties into part 5 and the whole idea of Roy Burns a little bit more. And again, I don't know if this is possible. Maybe it's not even possible. Maybe it's something that's not even capable of doing in the, in the you know, when they're creating the game. But we'll see. The idea I've kind of thought up is that basically it's the same idea. Seven or eight counsellors, one of them is the mystery killer. The others have to kind of work it out. But the big difference is that when you're playing as the killer, you see yourself as Roy Burns to kind of tie it in a bit more nicely and to bring him into the game. But when another player who's playing as a counsellor sees you, maybe they see you as a counsellor. So you're both seeing yourself in a different light or whatever. That I think is probably less likely because I don't know, again, I don't know if that's even possible. But the idea I think is quite interesting because it would be fun to play as Roy, play as someone who's a little bit different and plays very different to Jason. But obviously you can't have Roy running around because it's the same as the other game modes. So perhaps this is a way of doing it where when you're playing as a killer, you see yourself as Roy. Whereas the other counsellors and the other players, they see you as another counsellor. And that kind of 
creates this kind of mirage effect, I guess. Another kind of idea to toss around and that maybe this has the potential to lead to in the future is the idea of a Pamela Voorhees mode in the future somewhere down the line, or perhaps adding her to this mode or something like that. This game mode kind of shows us that there's a different way perhaps to do this kind of take on this game and obviously Pamela Voorhees, she's a different character, she will have to play in a very different way, she doesn't have the kind of powers and abilities that Jason will have. So maybe somewhere down the line we'll get a game mode where we play as her and it's that bit harder because you're playing as a, a more of a human character, you don't have the powers, you don't have the abilities, and it's going to really take some skill and strategy to work it out. Maybe that'll happen in this mode, maybe somewhere down the line she'll come in, but I think there's real potential to kind of introduce Pamela and somewhere down the line and work her into a game mode either similar to this or maybe work her in this one, who knows, we won't know until we see what this game mode eventually turns out to be. Either way I'm pretty excited about the whole idea of this game mode and what it could potentially be. The idea of having a mystery killer is really something that will add variety to this game and really change up the formula and give you something different to play to just the brute force of Jason that you usually go about with. To have to strategize and try and really throw people off and you know throw their suspicions off and try and keep your identity secret that's all very exciting I think something that's gonna be a real addition to this game if they go that route um, either way it's interesting to see maybe what they'll come up with and I'm sure we'll get more information as we go down the line but um, yeah I'm very interested in what this is already that's about it for this episode of Orcs Talk guys make sure before you go to leave a like Comment on the video, let us know what you're thinking. I'm interested to hear your theories. What do you think of this game mode? What do you think it's going to be? Um, what do you think the potential is of it? Let me know down below in the comments. Um, subscribe while you're here. We need subscribers. Help us out. We'd appreciate that. Share this video around with your friends, of course. And uh, follow us on Twitter. We have a Twitter. We're Orc Social on Twitter. The link's probably down there in the description and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, so follow us on Twitter. Do all those things that I mentioned before. And uh, we'll see you next time in the next episode.